Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Mr. Nation Watt here. So on today's episode, we're in El Garaje. Well, the garage in English. So we just got a new generator, the Predator 4000. Yeah, so it has uh, 4,000 maximum watts, and the run watts is uh, 1,300. And we got, got a 212 uh, CE ZC engine. I was kind of hoping there's a Honda engine, but there isn't. So anyway, I just fill up some gas on it, and here's all the outlets you need. And plus, I got my new uh, angle grinder I'm gonna test out. So you just have to turn on the switch, the main switch, and then uh, turn this on, just so that gasoline go in. And you put the choke as on the start position, and away we go. Ah, look, it's shooting. Shooting big time. So anyway, I got my new angle grinder, about to test that out, so I might as well test it out on that. Plus I got a leftover brake pad in the uh, grind out and uh, smoothing, you know, just to test out the, the new uh, Austin wheel, like this one. I had to buy it separately. That's safety instructions. So anyway, the angle grinder is a 120 volt, and uh, it's a four and a half inch. So it has a 4.3 amp ball bearing mount, and it runs at 1100 RPMs. So okay, I already know how to operate one of these. Just need that tool to get to. Uh, okay, there we go. So well, anyway, folks, uh, I got to get rid of the old CD changer in the Yukon <clears throat> just about 20 minutes ago. About to show you what it looks like. <coughs> yeah, it got right here. So anyways, uh, it wasn't hard to get it out anyway. I just had to disconnect the wire. I had to reconnect the the old uh, radio just to eject these CDs, which worked. So I'm about to sell it to a guy at work for $60. So it's not bad. I take out the wiring, so I had to reconnect this together because I had to cut it. Oh. Cut it because I couldn't get the wiring off from under the seat and then under the sill plate and all that junk. So I probably end up reconnecting it. So I'm just going to put that blade right in the angle grinder. Mm. Probably have to adjust this wheel too. I mean, the fender of it. It doesn't look like it's in the right position. I'm trying to get her in position. Okay. Okay, folks. Almost done with this. I 
Yeah, it seems like it fits. Pretty right. Well, I had to find a couple of lawnmower blades I had. See, you know, collecting so in case something happened to the lawnmower blade, I get to quickly replace it and then sharpen it up with the angle grinder. Okay, now I'm about to plug plug it in. Just wanted to switch this on. Yeah, I didn't have my cameraman in today, so I tested it out. Not sure if you guys can see this. Okay, probably can. Folks, I'm not sure if you saw that, but you know, this is just uh, that's practice anyway. Until I find one of the little more plates I had, I have them somewhere in this garage, but can't find them. Yeah, so pliers to pull that out of the way because I don't want to burn my hands. That'd be sight not to see. This is just old brake pad I had from the truck. So I'm about to reposition it. Okay, so this is what, you know, just smoothing out and all that just to test out the blade wheel and on the ink grinder and stuff. So pretty much it worked as planned. So I kind of used it because I bought that over three or four weeks ago and we got a chance to use it until today. So I was going to put this put away somewhere. Yeah, my dad has has one like a little bit bigger than that, but he has not his sport fan, so I was able to use it when I needed it, so I decided just to buy my own. This is the starter kit. I bought for $9.99 at Hard Freight Tools. Oh yeah, this is what else I bought. I bought a Cornwell uh, Mini Parts Bowl. Look at this. See? Now I'll just get to like, let's say I'm taking apart something from the car with nuts and bolts and stuff. I just take the nuts and washers, put it all together, and never lose them. In the past, I used to lose all of them, and I had to go to the hardware store to buy new ones. And it's such a pain in the ass to do it, because sometimes you can't remember the size. Or sometimes you can, but they want to overcharge you for that kind of stuff. So I decided not to lose it. And then we got this tool cart. Well, 
part of the mess, but this has helped keep all the stuff together. And well, the driveway of the car is fixing it and stuff. So, so we're about to put this big son of a bitch back over there. <coughs> stuff. I mean, it's a big heavy son of a bitch, but yeah, I can manage to do it by myself, anyways. I'm not that. Yeah, still smell the exhaust fumes because it was chooching. Yeah. So anyway, folks, that's about it on this uh, today's episode of Mr. Nationwide. So we'll see you later.